I've paid for my job. No. Um, I started as an intern um, and then was a PA and kind of just crawled my way up to being a producer. Um, so it is possible. I'm gonna pay a lot of money. No, uh, but uh, I, I, I interned in Santa Clara or San Francisco and then um, worked my way up overseas and then also in Los Angeles. So, you know, and so it is true you can work your way up from the bottom in this industry. So. And I should say, you guys can raise your hands. We also have uh, here with us today, uh, what, three of uh, the interns, uh, UO interns. Yeah. Uh, this past year. Every one of our other interns did their internship time with us and we made paid employees. Um, and one of them has gone the, almost the entire show with me. <laughs> <laughs> and if they weren't good, they wouldn't be with us. And this industry weeds people out faster than um, anything else. Um, you can't l rest on your laurels in this industry. In a season, we do like, we did 257 locations this year. Um, an average show in the same amount of 50 days that we filmed would do 100. So we do about one, double, two and a half times more than almost any other show on the planet. Um, and you're a sketch comedy. So it's like, sketch comedies don't go on location like that. No, they normally sit in a stage and you, you know, you have four wall or three wall set and you film them and um, we, we confuse the unions because we're three and they classify us as a stage show because they have nowhere else to put us. I'm really kind of now behind the scenes and I make sure that we have all the location releases that we, everyone in that scene gets paid, all the crew gets paid, we have all our legal documents. Um, you don't ever see my work on screen um, that you can actually tangentially tell that it was me. Um, but I make sure that the show happens and we're closing down on Monday and Cam's the, one of our last people here and who's was an intern and then our extras coordinator and then our post PA. I, I live in the office because it's like I deal with all the travel and all the accounting, um, all the back end logistics. I look forward a lot in the show and backwards. And as a producer, I'm there to make sure that he's got everything that he needs to, he needs to have for that day to get it done within reason. So I kind of watch the checkbook. So it's like, no, you can't have that. You know? We are a very, very low funded show. Um, it's part of the new model of filmmaking and TV shows is that the prices aren't going up, they're going down. Um, so we operate on this very kind of shoestring budget. And luckily, people really like us. And um, over 95% of our cast and crew are local. I, I think I read somewhere, and, and you look at it, Big, gigantic shows like um, Grimm or Once or uh, not, maybe not Game of Thrones, they're going away. They're really, really expensive for the networks to do and they don't get their return on investment very, very fast. It's a business, we're in a business and so it's all about how much money are we making. Um, and tiny shows that don't cost so much bring in, a lot, even if they don't have tons and tons of viewers, their return on investment is high. Um, so, Louis, very, very small investment, very large return. There are hundreds and hundreds of cable channels. They need content and the web needs content. We're going to be seeing smaller and smaller stuff and we just, we're getting smarter at producing stuff on smaller scales.